Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Jurassic World Alive. Today we are opening a rare Swamp Dwellers Incubator. I don't know whether this is a special offer for only VIP, which if it is, that it's great to see that we are getting those offers now, uh, or whether it's available to everybody. Let me know if you haven't got the VIP membership. Is this showing up on yours? So we're going to be purchasing them as well as opening some incubators, an epic, uh, sorry, a rare that I actually picked up from battling in the Nubla jungle. Okay, so let's get into it. Right, so the rare swamp dwellers include we've got Capra Suchis, looks like Posta Suchis, and you know, three of the new uh, dinosaurs that are available. I've actually already encountered cooler Suchis in the wild and got 71, so I need a bit more and then we can finally create him. The other three I still have not encountered, so it would be great to get them in this incubator. We're going to get a guaranteed 504 minimum guaranteed. It's not a special offer in the same in the way of like it's good value for money. You're getting the same amount of DNA as you would from the uh, other incubators. So let's do this. 650, 640. We've managed to get enough by signing up for Now TV. <laughs> if we get an epic on top of this, this will be really really good. But you know, I'm only expecting rares. So we've got Diplocolus common. I expected this guy to come out of it. We've got Nundasuchus DNA, which is very good because we use that DNA to boost up Ineosaurus and Majungasaurus. Next, we've got Coolasuchus Gen 2. Okay, so we've got 276 DNA for him. And Postasuchus, yes, 228 DNA. That's so good because we need this guy to be level 10, I believe. Or is it level 15? We need him for one of the hybrids anyway. Okay, so actually I thought you would only be able to get one, but we can actually get two here. So let's check out whether we've actually got enough DNA to make Postosuchus hybrid form. We're probably not going to have any, enough DNA, but I, th I think it's level 10. Posto, posto, posto Metrodon. I've definitely got enough Demetrodon. Yeah, this is the one where I've got so much Demetrodon um, and I need a lot of Postosuchus to, to create Posto Metrodon. Okay, so we do need more of him, so it'd be worth buying uh, those incubators again with a chance of pulling him, that would be good. Um, on the other side of things, I don't think there's any hybrid forms from Call of Suchis, so it's not too great, but we, we can evolve him and get the experience from it. So let's buy another one for 640 and see if we can get that Posta Suchis, and maybe we'll be able to create Posta Metrodon today. Nunda such as DNA, we're always welcome. Diplocolus, this is the one we're wanting for. Cooler such as and yes, possible such as DNA 213, which means we are now going to be able to possibly, if we get enough DNA from the combine. Right, so we should have enough DNA for Posta such as now to be able to create Posta Metrodon, making our second big hybrid. We've got two, obviously, the, 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 the Majungasaurus. Okay, and well, we just need 10, 20, 12 more. We've got 10. Do we have enough to get another one? Yes, so guaranteed we get Imposter Metrodon. This one, 30, nice. Epic, create, course. This comes in at a level 11. Looks cool as hell. Damage quite high, critical chance, usual 5%, no armor. This guy's going to have to have to some interesting moves because he's going to be quick to die. Armor piercing strike. Okay, that's always good. Damage increased for 50% for three turns. Critical impact, chance of its critical attack increased by 40%. Wow. Deal 1.5 damage. And then adrenaline surge, which is that acting first, cleansing, increasing damage to 1.25 for four turns and regenerating 25%. So this guy's going to be really powerful once you've pulled off all these moves but if you come up against somebody doing high damage you're not going to last long with him he's going to probably have to get him up to like level 15 so his health is enough to stay alive to pull all those off once you do that though you could stay alive for ages you could keep regenerating hp as well so a nice new addition and he just looks awesome in the uh, the screen of the thumbnail for him right and that's enough for the restaurant as well as incubators. We have this incubator to open that we got from some of the battles. Lythronax common. 
Ankylosaurus Gen 2, so nothing great. Nodosaurus rare, that's really good. We definitely need Nodosaurus DNA. Don't need a Metrodon. Get so much Dimetrodon DNA, it's insane. So Nodosaurus does have a hybrid form. I think we'll have enough to take him to level 10. Allosaurus, really good. We need that DNA so bad. And Kentrosaurus gets a little bit more too. Um, right, so he, I believe it's, it's, I think he has to be at level 15 though, off the top of my head. Nodosaurus goes into Nodopatosaurus. We can find out now. So Nodosaurus is now at level 10. Nodopatosaurus requires Nodosaurus at level, oh, wait, we have him. Okay, so we just need enough DNA. Could get 100, I've heard it happen, some guys have said. No, we're only getting 10, so we're still not getting Nodopatosaurus. As soon as we get a few more Nodosaurus DNA, though, he's coming our way. And then you can get Giga Spikosaurus. Uh, so we're going to need to be finding some of them in the wild. Hopefully, going on a big hunt this weekend, hopefully should get some in the wild. Okay, well, that's it then. We have successfully got Poster Searches and evolved the hybrid form, created the hybrid form of Postometrodon. Um, we still have a few DNA for some of the other guys. We just need a few more catches and we can make him a lot stronger as well. Okay, well, that's all for this video. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. Let me know if you have this offer and if any of you guys have actually managed to pull uh, this epic guy out then let me know it'd be pretty cool so that's everything for this episode hopefully you've enjoyed it if you have hit the like button and hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future information that's all for me see you soon